A silent march has been held in Toulouse to mark one year since the killings of Al-Qaeda-inspired gunman Mohamed Mera. Mera took the lives of three French soldiers, three Jewish children and a rabbi before himself dying in a police shootout after a 32-hour siege on his flat. 1,500 people of all faiths attended the memorial, including France's president, Francois Hollande. Dressing the crowd, Hollande condemned anti-Semitism. He also promised that investigators were still working on the Mera case and were committed to finding out if the Algerian-born Frenchman worked alone or had accomplices. The president said, France, I can assure you, you will never be stopped, divided or separated. This is the meaning of your march today for freedom, for the republic. Mera's atrocities were the worst anti-Semitic acts of violence violence seen in France since August 1982, when six people were killed in a grenade attack and shooting at the Goldenberg restaurant in central Paris. The families of Mera's victims still hope someone will be brought to justice. Mera's brother, Abdul Kader, who denies any involvement, is the only person still in custody. The Toulouse shootings also raised doubts over France's ability to combat terrorism. After Mera's death, it emerged that he was known by the French Interior Ministry to have traveled to Afghanistan and Pakistan and had at one time been under surveillance. Speaking at the memorial march, President Hollande vowed not to let up in the fight against terrorism, saying that in the wake of Mera's shootings, a law had been passed, allowing the state to convict French nationals abroad on terror charges, even if they had committed no crime on home soil. Thank you.